What is going on YouTube? We got sent a new product here that we are gonna get installed on our Bronco and it is these new tie rod splints. You can go pick these up off Amazon, tie rod brace if you will, um, and we're gonna get them installed. So what you have is just a two piece brace. Um, your tie rod sits in here, this clamps around it. On the back side, you install eight uh, five millimeter Allen bolts. You need to tighten them down evenly. So typically what you're gonna do is maybe start here, 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 and then just do like X patterns. Make sure it's all evenly tight. You don't need to overly tighten these. They do just thread into aluminum. Um, you shouldn't be able to strip it out because you're gonna just be using like a hand Allen wrench. Um, but you do just want to be careful and exercise caution when putting these on. So here is our tie rod. Um, before you install these, you're going to completely encase this tie rod end. So go ahead and clean it off. You can see mine looks pretty dang good, actually. I mean, the rest of the truck is not clean. So get that cleaned off. And then all you have to do is go ahead and slip these pieces on so you have one side that is bigger than the other and that is going to only go on one way so you're going to install it pretty much just like that so get that piece up there and then you're going to grab the other piece as well and you're going to just sandwich these around your tie rod so now I will have to install those eight bolts and get those tightened up evenly across the back. Okay, so you wanna make sure you get behind there and you tighten all eight of those bolts. And as you can see, they all need to be flush. Once they're flush, then you should know they're all tightened pretty evenly. Um, so you're just going to, again, come in behind here and just tighten them by hand with a five millimeter crescent wrench, not crescent wrench, Allen wrench. Um, and you just give them a little turn by turn and you wanna make sure they're all pretty evenly tightened. Um, as you tighten one side, the other side's gonna probably loosen up a little bit. So this does take a couple rounds of just going around them and making sure you have everything good and tight. And then after you drive a few miles, um, just jump back out, grab your little wrench here and give them another torque and make sure you've got that good and tight. So the other thing I did is I have the wheel turned all the way out so that I can get to this easier. And then doing the other side, you're just simply gonna turn the, other, the wheel the other way to access this. Um, I do have it lifted up with the jack a little bit just for easier access to make this video, but you don't even need to lift it up with the jack. So there's my passenger side installed. The driver's side is installed also. So there you go quick, easy modification that you can do to simply add some strength into your Bronco, into your Bronco steering. Um, you can also take those off, and if your tie rod were to say like break in half, you could take that off and use it as a splint to get it repaired enough for you to get off the trail and get back home. So as always, thank you for watching.